All righty, my friends, what is going on? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to do a little experiment with me here, okay? All right, what I want you to do is I want you to pick a memory that is absolutely unpleasant, okay? Whether this is with a person, a place, or a thing, I want you to think about a situation that is unbelievably uncomfortable for you, okay? I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this, but I want you to do this with me, okay? I want you to not only think about it, but I want you to think about this, I want you to actually feel it throughout your body. Maybe it's something that makes you mad. Maybe it's something that makes you sad. Maybe it's something that makes you feel ashamed. Something that brings up a very strong emotion within you that you can actually feel it in your body, okay? I don't want you to just think about it, I want you to actually feel the unpleasantness of this, okay? Now, if you've done this and you've actually thought about it, most of us can find something just like that that'll bring on an emotional response that's very strong for us, whether it's sadness or some sort of other emotion, okay? Now, now that you've done that, what I want to ask you is how do you feel? I know what the answer is, and you do too. You're not going to feel all that great. You're going to feel lousy, right? It's probably not feeling all that great right now, okay? Now, if I were to ask you this, how well would studying for the MCAT go right now? Wouldn't go well at all. It'd be an absolute disaster. It'd actually be a waste of time feeling this way trying to study because it's not going to be very effective at all. I think you all would agree. Now, how motivated would you be right now to do anything? The motivation would be zero, right? And once again, it would be a waste of time to do any studying right now because it'd be a waste of time. You're just not going to feel all that great. Overall, how would you say things are going to go? They're not going to go well at all because if you've pulled on an emotion that makes you feel sad or angry or depressed, whatever that is, you're not going to want to do anything. You're going to want to spend all your time by yourself because it's going to be unpleasant, all right? Now, here's the thing. Let's do something different. Now, what I want you to do, if you've done this, you should have felt a very strong emotion very fast. It does not take a long time for strong emotions to come on, all right? Now, what I want you to do is take a deep breath in. All right, I want you to let that out and kind of put that aside, okay? So let's try something different now. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to pick a memory that is absolutely amazing, okay? It's whether it's with a person, a place, or a thing. But it is so amazing that you feel like your heart and your body is going to explode because it's so amazing, okay? Just something that literally every time you think about it, you know instantaneously just like that, you are going to feel absolutely amazing. Like you could do anything. You could be anything in the world, all right? So now, once again, if you've done this, it should be just like that, that you should be able to think of something that will make you feel that way. Don't just think about it. I want you to feel it. That will put you in that state very, very quickly, all right? Now, here's the thing. How well would studying go right now? You'd crush it. Wouldn't matter if it was organic chemistry or biology or studying for the MCAT. You would crush it because even if you're studying, you didn't know the answers, you'd find the answers. You would find a way within yourself or around you to crush it and figure out the answers, okay? How well would your medical school interview go right now? Oh boy, you would crush it, right? You'd have a great story. You'd be able to explain everything. You'd tell them what's going on and that medical school would love to have you come there, which could potentially be your top medical school, correct? Now, overall... How would your life go right now? It would be amazing. I don't think anything could go wrong if you felt this way all the time, right? It would be absolutely amazing. Like you feel like you're gonna explode with excitement, all right? Now, what is the point of this? The point of this is that your mindset is everything. Now, what I want you to initially see here is the fact is just by pointing something out, you were able to put yourself in a horrible mood, a terrible mood, a crappy mood, right? And then without doing anything, without eating anything, without drinking anything, without moving, without doing anything, just like that, you could put yourself in a better state of mind. So what I want you to see in this is that your mindset, the way that you see something, is not up to the things around you. It's completely and totally up to you. So if you're in a bad mood or something's not going well, you've just demonstrated yourself that just like that, you can turn it around. Now, here's the very, very important thing that ties it into organic chemistry, all right? Most students are already set up to fail this class, organic chemistry, before they even walk in on the first day. Why? Because of mindset. What's going on? Here's the stories. Here's the introduction. Hey, welcome to organic chemistry. It's a weed out course. It's hard. Most students fail. You'll probably fail. Probably going to have to retake it. Um, you might not get into medical school. All these stories, right? How excited, how well are you going to do in this class? You're not going to do well and you're not going to be very excited. You're already going to be nervous and tense and thinking, am, am, am I the one that's going to get weeded out? So you can see the story is going to have a massive impact. It would be like me saying, hey, I've got this person I want you to be, but actually, I don't really like them. They're a pain and you know what to be around. Nobody actually really likes to be around them. They're needy, they're moody, they're all over the place, but I need you to hang out with them for a week. Can you do that? What are you going to say? 
I'm not going to cuss, but no, I'm not going to be around them. So you can see that the way that the story is brought you makes a huge difference in terms of how you see it. So the thing about this is you can change all of that. Now, the last thing that I want to leave you with is this is the most common thing that I've heard over the 24 years that I've been doing this. Organic chemistry is a weed out course because it's hard. I'm here to tell you, having done this for 24 years now, organic chemistry is not a weed out course because it's hard. Organic chemistry is a weed out course because most students are already set up to fail before they even walk in on the first day because they're using a strategy that's outdated and they believe the stories. But that is not going to be you, my friend, because you have just proven to yourself that your mindset and how you decide to study and go into something is completely and totally up to you.